In my previous video, I showed how I made this ball balancing robot. As discussed, the robot is able to balance this ball by using a PID algorithm. In this video, I'll discuss more about this PID algorithm and how it's tuned. As you may know, a PID algorithm calculates an output value by adding three terms. A proportional term defined as KP times the error, an integral term defined as KI times the integral of the error, and a derivative term defined as KD times the derivative of the error. KP, KI, and KD are all constants used to tune the PID algorithm. The integral term was not needed for this project, so it can be removed. Imagine we are viewing above the robot, and we can see the platform and the ball. In this project, the error, E, is defined as the vector pointing from the center of the platform to the center of the ball. In other words, since the center is defined as 0, 0, the error is simply the location of the ball, defined as x, y. The blue vector will represent our proportional term, and we can change the magnitude of the proportional term by changing the value of kp. Let's also say that the ball is moving towards the left. We can draw a velocity vector and label it as d, since that is equal to the derivative term of the pd algorithm. Likewise, we can change the magnitude of the derivative term by changing the value of kd. As shown in the equation, the output vector is the addition of the proportional and the derivative terms. This output vector is shown in yellow. We can define this output vector as u. Let's now go through five of the unique cases that can occur when tuning a PD algorithm. The first case happens when kp is set to zero. In this case, there is no proportional term, and the robot only accounts for the velocity of the ball. In other words, the robot will only attempt to slow the ball down. This is of course ineffective because the aim of the robot is to both slow the ball down and bring it towards the center. If the robot is only slowing the ball down, then the ball will eventually fall off. The next case occurs when KD is set to zero. In this case, there is no derivative vector and the robot only accounts for the ball's position. As you can see, the robot only tries to move the ball towards the center without accounting for its velocity. Without accounting for the ball's velocity, the robot has no way of knowing how sharp to make its movements. The third case occurs when kp is too high. In this case, the proportional term overshadows the derivative term. What this looks like is a robot that overcompensates for the position of the ball. This leads to a sort of swaying motion and the ball can never reach equilibrium. The fourth case occurs when KD is too high. In this case, the derivative term overshadows the proportional term. This has a similar effect of a sort of swaying motion. This is because the robot is overcompensating for the velocity of the ball. It tries to excessively slow the ball down, which has the effect of accelerating the ball in the opposite way. In this case, the ball can also never reach equilibrium and often falls. The last case occurs when both KD and KP are too high. This scales both the proportional and the derivative terms and has the effect of making the output vector too high. A similar effect occurs where the ball never reaches equilibrium and it circles around the board. When the PD algorithm is tuned properly and KP and KD are at appropriate levels, we get this. The robot is able to effectively balance the ball without an excessive amount of swaying. And there you have it, the effects of tuning a PD algorithm. This project is completely open sourced, so if you'd like to build it, check my instructable link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out my Instagram account. Thanks for watching. Something better than